Okay, guys, welcome back. So our situation is that me and uh, Joe, XOKHRC, are doing a collaboration. And what that collaboration is, is that he's gonna send me stuff in a box, I'm gonna send him stuff in the box, and we're gonna go from there. So I just got my uh, my first box right here. So um, let me get back into my neckbeard station and uh, open it up. We got some packing stuff. Uh, some more packing stuff. I don't know who these pack of screws are for, but there is a kajillion. What is this about? Okay, this, so these are these are giant wheels. What are these about? Oh, and the mystery package. See, look, so look, let me just show you a comparison. So when, when we're talking about the stock foams, what happens with stock foam versus a steady foam in the long term is that these foams are gonna wear out. The steady foams are gonna break in. Like they're, they're it's like look look what just happened in this package and look at this one. This one came out of a tire. Here's a solid one. Here's the other one. So here's the stock one, all dented up. But yet the steady foam is in the exact shape it's supposed to be the entire time. So, but I believe these are the nuts for that. So that is a complete wheel set for something. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. This is. <laughs> Um, this is the Mamba X Monster X eight scale waterproof electronics for six ass. I'm, I think that's what this is for. He's he, Joe really wants me to go and check out this three brothers RC motor and upgrade from the stock motor in the SAX six. And, uh, I guess this is pushing me, pushing me that one step further, eight amp peak BAC. Yeah, this is super exciting. But the thing about the SCX6, you know what? We're not even gonna get into that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna get into and we're gonna do a big, a quick highlight of my SCX6 because I've done so many mods to it, and this is what this is for. This is I need to buy a motor, and he's pushing me to do it. So let's uh let's just check out my SCX6 and see what you, show you guys what all I've done to. It. So this is my SCX6 custom build. I'm using the DX5 controller. DSM thumb steer here. So I've really cut down the body a good bit. Cut off the tops, cut off these bars, took the roll cage off and placed lights there. I went ahead and really cut in. I have no rock sliders on here anymore. I've actually cut the fenders way down. I have the new TSL swampers on here with some trio wheels. We flipped this thing up. You're gonna see a good bit too. I've actually got Vitavon high clearance links, bit of on skid down here. You would have seen that I've actually lowered my shocks down to here, pretty solid. And I actually flipped my shocks uh, in the rear and the front. There's not space yet, but I'm working on that. I'm actually not running any rear body clips in the back. So I've got Velcro strips on the tops of the towers here on each one and then on the underbelly here. Really enjoying not having to mess with it so much. And it stays good enough for me for what I'm doing. Slow crawling, the body just sinks down on there real nice. One of the other things I did is that the, the hood latches would be right here. I've actually taken those off and raised up the fender higher on there and let it blend in really well. So let's go ahead and pull these pins. Now we're gonna get into the actual rig here. Oh, from the top here, I'm running uh, two 2S batteries in series for 4S. I got the Swampers on here, pretty stoked about them. They seem to be working really, really well. We're gonna go ahead and flip up the bottom of here. You'll be able to see how I've lowered the shocks down to the same as the lower link. Uh, in addition to the Vitavon plate here, but these are all trail housings. I have overdrive gears in the front uh, and I have the trail housings in the back with just regular gears back there. Uh, also have steady foams in here. Obviously I have steady foams in there. Um, just like if you see the truck sit, it's giving and then it's there. So I'm really still super impressed with this. Uh, with the steady foams, they've been doing super well. So in the back, what I've done a little bit differently is that I put a front bumper into the rear and I have the mounts for the servo now back here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see what happens with all that. But you know what? Let's get to doing some crawling.
So it looks like it's gonna wrap up this episode about RC. My biggest upgrades at this point were gonna be the trio wheels and the swamper tires. Everything else I kinda already had in place and really stoked that I had the steady foams in there because the stock ones are just really lacking. If you see other people's videos, there just needs to be more, more volume inside of there and the steady foams create a better damper, I believe. I'm, I'm from mountain biking, so that's a term we would use but stoked that I have them. I'm stoked to get out there and do some bigger climbs on them, some drier rocks. I found a secret spot near my house that I'm gonna go check out soon to go ahead and test these out some more and do some more crawling. Hope you guys enjoyed a little view of what how I've customized my SCX6. And if you've done something that you liked, put it in the comments down below. And if there's something that I showed you guys today that you really enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and uh, comment that down below and see if you're gonna try those things. Until next time, steady crawling and go ahead and check us out on Instagram as well and Facebook for those steady foams. See you on the next one.